and welcome to another episode of Best Brews SA. I'm Matt. I'm Mike. And I'm Ray. I'm Alma. And I'm Brian. And today for this episode, we are doing saisons or farmhouse ales. For the description, here's Mike. Well, traditionally, farmhouse ales are brewed in the winter. Uh, they're less uh, hoppy and they're less, uh, more malty. And they're brewed in the process during winter. Uh, that way they are be able to uh, be drunk in the summer for the farmers. Mm. Um, yeah. In order to, uh, they can enjoy a nice brew and not get too fucked up. Which too. is ironic because the ABV of these, uh, of these beers that we're going to review are between 6 and 8 ABV. <laughs> Those are some drunken high. farmers. <laughs> they like to party. Okay, we're starting with my beer, which is from North Coast Brewing out of Fort Bragg, California. It's uh, Le Merle, I believe, only because it's the wife's name of the head brewer. So I'm assuming her name is Merle. My bad if I messed that up. Uh, 7.9 ABV. Um, the fun fact was actually that it is after the wife. So um, let's pop that one open because I'm uh, ready to drink. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I think we've been ready. I've been ready. Right. So let's check it out. All right, so. Let's see you spin it. <laughs> I tried, to, I tried to hard pour it too, so that's why I had the glug. I smell, I smell like a, a mustard smell. Mustard? Yeah, right away. It's like a mustard smell. It has a Kolsch smell to it. Very good like citrusy yeah. Kolsch yeah. smell. Yeah, I just smell citrusy. I guess yeah. it could be like how the hops, the hops smell, but I, I get like a definite mustard smell from it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, the color's good. It's cloudy. Yeah. So I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to drink it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Tasty alcohol, <laughs> but it's I get a little. I get a little bit of uh, like like apple, mm -hmm. a bit of apple. So it kind of the, the juice ish. Yeah, yeah. juice like the. the it's refreshing. Shape, like it smells like mustard, sure. but it tastes like, or like, apple. Or like, like juice. It's Oh, like real juice. Okay. Yeah. It's a little champagne like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I like it. It has a, a bit of acidity to it, um, but that goes away pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A very Not umami flavor Not on the palate too, um, very, what, which umami. is like the steak, steak or chicken, any sort of meat or protein has umami flavor to it. So, I see what you're saying. So more of a savory. Like, yeah. Uh, not, not, so yeah, like not a savory. It's it's kind of like you're that. Saying it tastes like chicken. It's, it's like the soul of the meat. It's like steak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like meat cookies. Yeah. So yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but I get I, I get that. I get. That. I like it though. It's not bad. Yeah. It's you want to start with? Who had the Sophie? I brought Sophie. Uh, this one's from Goose Island Brewery in Chicago. Chicago? Ch Chicago. Pretty sure. It's from Chicago. <laughs> the um, cool thing about Goose Island is that they were the pioneers of uh, bourbon barrel brewing in 1992. Um, they started experimenting with bourbon barrel, bourbon barrel aging. Um, and then when they got used to that, they started uh, brewing with wine barrels and aging with wine barrels. And that's where Sophie comes along, um, named after uh, one of the family members of the, the brewer. Um, so this is going to have a, a similar qualities to the first beer we tasted. It'll have um, the fruitiness. Um, it's going to have a lot of increased depth of character because of the wine barrel aging. Um, it's increased fruitiness without uh, the extra sweetness. So. Try this one? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, don't. Uh, don't. 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 That's usually what you get from like some that's smoked though. It's kind of weird coming from something that's you know not smoked at all. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I almost kicked out the group. Next. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's an interesting taste. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I like it, but I wouldn't uh, buy it. <laughs> drink it again. Drink it again. It gets if worse. If they were handing it out, <laughs> if it was like at like a you know one of those ratchet parties. Like if I no. <laughs> if I lost a bet, I would drink this. Yeah. It gets worse, right? With every it does, time. it does. Yeah. Oh, that's really weird. And this phone won't go away. What the heck were they thinking? Mmm. Maybe this is just a. This could just be a bad 
bottle. Maybe we should retarget this. Because remember, no. <laughs> when we were when we were shopping for it, it was it looked like beer. it had been there for a while. It was a little dusty. There was dust. Mm. Yeah. Well, beer. they knew somebody would buy it, and here we are. But right. you know, I like to think that, that in. I like to think that that place keeps uh, track of their inventory, though. Like I would hope that they don't allow their beer to go skunk due, uh, due to age. Mm. But then again, who knows? Oh. Well. Uh, 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 okay, good, so good. who's next in line here? Uh, oh, it's the no, Texas no, no, no. one. Yeah. The Today was my, uh, Who brought that? That'd be me. Uh, I brought the Texas brew today. Um, this is the Philosophizer from Adelbert's Brewery in Austin, Texas. Uh, the Philosophizer get, gets its name from Dell. Uh, it was usually a common term. Uh, they would describe him because he was known to uh, solve complex situations um, while sitting back and having a, a beer. And so they named that this one after him. So. Did, you say, did you say name that this one? Yes. I thought that was a dodgeball <laughs> reference. <laughs> so, no, Del, of course, is, uh, <laughs> the owner. The, the, no, he, the brewery. The, the, the brewery was actually named after him, Adelbert. Del for short. Uh, Adelbert. Oh. So uh, Adelbert. Uh, the, brother. the brother. The brother okay. who passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Is short. Short. Oh, wait, so, yeah. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, <laughs> said, let's review. Let's, let's brew. Review. Yes, shall we? Let's. I do enjoy a good rhyme. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was, I was thinking about that all night. <laughs> I was practicing a, it. Uh, we all we reviewed their uh, wit, didn't we? Oh yes. yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, 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 you know what I bet? It's because it was in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. that all you did with this? <laughs> you, didn't put, you didn't put this that one in the freezer. Was... Woo! No, I just put it in my okay. <laughs> nice. oh, nice. nice. <laughs> We're alive still, so. It's okay, you're infected. Here's this. Here's this. God. Oh, that's funny. Man. Check this out. Well, you know this beer's a whore. He wants to be drunk. <laughs> it's a whore. <laughs> no, it's poor, poor hard. Yeah, that's good. Oh. See, this one has a similar. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm trying to defend her. I'm telling you. Dang, Mike. Well, they're good hard horse. Yeah, this is. Oh, good. this one smells skunky. Champagne. Yeah, it, I smell skunky. It smells yeah. similar to Sophie. It's, it's, it's not as yeah. soft. It's not as strong. Yeah. Yeah. More I don't pungent. think it smells like Sophie. Sophie was more pungent. No, it doesn't. Mm. Right, she hadn't washed for like a week. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, Sophie. I told you. In the true that. farmhouse style. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. So. laughs> well, you know when you're out by a farm and you smell all those organic smells? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. has to be heaven compared to all that. <laughs> my my, my, my weekly <laughs> trip to, to see the cattle. Yes, yes. Mike no, has a cattle ranch. He's this, a cattle rancher. No, this is definitely lighter lighter on the scent. It's, uh, you still get, like... I think it is. You know, I'm not going to lie. Maybe this is how it's supposed to smell because that's two beers that smell similar. Yeah. So maybe just the fact that that one's kind of off the beaten path, but these two are more... It smells like Heineken on steroids. This, I get, this uh, one is a... Um, yeah. What was yours? It's a 7.9. 7. Yeah, the mine was 7.8 ABV as well. Okay. And and typically most saisons are supposed to be lighter in ABV, like six percent. Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe the third and fourth one, are gonna, or the fourth and fifth one, are going to be tasting or smelling a lot more like Ready? this. Ready? So we'll see. Oh, okay. that's about to drink, and I didn't. I was uh, smelling with my lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Is I like that. I like it. Yeah, that's good. It's not skunked. I don't think they've made a the single nose. bad beer that we've had. The nose is misleading, but the oh, taste the is, one. is real smooth. I know it's only the second one, but they haven't made it. It's better than the last one. Yeah, I know. I don't know. <laughs> I have had Scratch and Hippo before, too. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I love Scratch and Hippo. I just love it. Okay, for the next beer, I brought this one. It's the Sriracha Ace, the Brooklyn Sriracha Ace, that is, from Brooklyn Brewery in Brooklyn, New York, or New York, New York. Um, <laughs> Say Brooklyn again. <laughs> One more Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn, Massachusetts. So, Mike, why don't, you, why don't you open this one since the other one basically exploded? That's this. I totally blinked right there. Yeah, I did too. I did. I did. That was exciting. 
Awesome. Uh, a fun fact with uh, the Brooklyn Brewery is that um, uh, Milton Glazer, best known for the I Love New York logo, designed the Brooklyn Brewery B. So, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, Fancy. what a B. Yeah. What yeah. a B. What, what, a, what a nice B. What's on your shirt? Huh? Matt? What, what, what is that? Oh, it's a B. B. It's a B. Yeah. It couldn't be because I was. It couldn't be? Hmm. It couldn't, couldn't be. Right? Could, could it not be? Or not to be. Okay. But this song. I like the way this smells. Yeah. So, so, it's, a, it's, know, it's sweeter. It's balanced. Yeah. Like, it's, like it's a very balanced smell. Like. Yeah, it's it's I wouldn't it's the best on the nose so far. Mm -hmm. You just like carry it around with you. Yeah, well, let's hope that doesn't... It on a on a kerchief up my sleeve. I, I hope nice. it, I hope it doesn't. I hope like the nose of it, you know, like the the, the very balanced nose of it doesn't like take away from the taste of the beer. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's, All right. That's what I'm doing. Really... But just really quickly, while the others I would think are trying to be more on the fruity side, mm -hmm. uh, I feel that this one's a little bit more floral. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Well. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's smoother, it's not as abrasive, it doesn't smell like cleaner. Uh, cleaner's a bad way of saying it, because it's yeah, so that's like eating ammonia. Yeah, it's too much. It's, um, no, it's just a balance. Windex. You need to get yourself Windex. some pine yeah, salt. Yeah, the hops really make it, the hops make it floral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Compared to the other ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it smells good. And it, it looks really cool. Again, it's got that real stereotypical beer look mm -hmm. where it's, you know, gold on the bottom, white on top. So, I like that. So, um, cheers. Let's taste it. Yeah, we did. Nice. So far. That's quick. Love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's good. That's good, man. I love it, love it, love it. It's got a good mouth to it. It's got a good coat. It's got oh, a good wow. Taste. It, like, hangs on your palate, too. Yeah, it really does. It kind of, like... The floral, the floral note definitely comes through. Oh, yeah, right at the end, right? Yeah, right. You, bring, huh? you can almost, like, it's just like it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like the good part of the beer hits you at the end, so you're left with that. Like, as you're talking, do you taste it? Like, because I can yeah. taste it's, it on my breath. It's you still, can feel it all the way yeah. through your nasal passage. Yeah, I thought it was, I just got real drunk real quick, but yeah, it's you can right taste it. Right at the beginning, This is a really good Saison. Man, bro. Yeah, uh, sinus Saison. Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I haven't had a bad Brooklyn brew. All right, so y'all bear with me now on these pronunciations. I brought St. Fulin uh, Brewery Beer. This is from Le Roux, Belgium. Uh, my fun fact about this beer is that it actually won the title of the world's best Saison Ale back-to-back -back in the year 2009 and the year 2010. Nice. Nice. And our designated popper. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a, a Turkish, Turkish fig. Turkish. Most of those German figs. No, Nazi figs. Nazi figs. I like it. It's good. It is good. So other than the Alaskan beer, I've had some good picks. You've yeah. redeemed yourself. Yeah, alright. Yeah. I think the Alaskan beer was the only one where you kind of fell off. Yeah. Well then and then he he, he said that the hurricane you get was a actually coffee good. finish. Oh yeah, you did, you did <laughs> <that hurricane. laughs> What do you get? As a finish I get like a coffee, probably because of the raisin uh, Flavor. Like a light coffee. Yeah, a little like mocha. a light coffee. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. I can see that. A little bit of coffee. This is pretty. No, it is good. Just a bit. Yeah. I enjoy this. All right, so who wants to kick us off with the rating? Um. Oh, the, the best. I will. Sure. I'll we'll start it off. Um. I will put the. The one I brought, and I'm not partial to it, but I really liked it because it had a, it, the flavor developed at the end, so I like that. I'll put this one as number one. This one as a close number two. And then this one as number three. Close number three, too, because I kind of like raisins, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> and then this one. And then that one, a big old hard five. Uh, I'm actually going to agree with Matt. Um, same thing. Uh, this one was really good. I really love the finish. Like these three themselves kind of just take that away and throw these in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> because And they're all distinctive well, too. You can taste okay. the alcohol in uh the uh, Lemurl. <laughs> I like that was its only redeeming factor. Lemurl like Taggart over here. I don't taste the Lemurl at all. I got problems. But but yeah, uh the, the same I I'll give it the same rating. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, since we're just going in order, I'll go next. 
I'm gonna go with mine. That's number one. Hey, but... <laughs> okay, Casino's number one. And two. Who has two thumbs as number one? <laughs> if you put Soka as number two, we know you're totally And shit. then I'm gonna go with the uh, the philosophizer as number two, just because I kind of wanted to say that again. And then uh, Matt's aces or ace. He aces, the spades. Don't forget the Joker. And don't forget the Joker. That's number three. <laughs> And then uh, over here in this corner, we'll just call this one the dark corner. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Brian's as number four. And then Alma Sophie as number five, taking last place. Like, it's real far behind. You say that as if I brewed it myself. <laughs> well, for me, I, I got to agree with Ray on his being the first one. Yes. Um, Sorry. It was very tasty all the way through. There wasn't any weirdness about it. The smell was great. Um, like, it just was good on the nose, good on the nose. Um, Matt's, your ace. The Sriracha Ace. Sriracha Ace, yes. Um, same thing. I, I think they're they're really close. Um, nose, body, finish, wonderful. Um, Adelbert's, third. Um, I don't even remember what this one was called. What? Yeah, I don't even remember. Lamarle. Lamarle Haggard. Um, it's right there. <laughs> forgettable. In the camera? And Sophie, I wish was forgettable, but it's not. <laughs> it's so haunting. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, you guys, that, that it came out. Um, no. All right. <laughs> so, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and say Lamarle's number one. <laughs> no. I think it's like one of those beers like the brewmaster probably cheated on his wife so like he back on her good graces he had to make a beer after <laughs> like, he's like I gotta mass produce this just to get back in good graces Sophie you bitch <laughs> but um no I definitely have to go with uh, Ray's number one uh, Mike and Matt's number two like they can share that one just cause they're both really good but uh, yeah the, the, but Ray's is just all the way the scent was great the taste was great. The aftertaste was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was just still enjoying it. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give my number four, whatever. And then that Sophie was definitely number five. Yours, so. yours was four, and Alma's was definitely five. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. want to point out. Yeah, just you just definitely know that. Just yeah. <laughs> so I just want to go. point out that uh, this took three number ones out of five here, which kind of goes back to its fun fact that it got you know back to back best. Uh, World's best saison, 2009, mm -hmm. 2010. We get it. You pick a good brew. <laughs> and as being a saison, the Belgian farmhouse ale, it was brewed in Belgium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You would kind of expect it to, yeah. to have all the qualities mm -hmm. of a good saison. And show up it. And that concludes this episode of Best Brews Essay. And don't forget to. Tulip's up, Pinky's out.